for a man to die. Yeah, you're right, Ed. A parachute not opening, that's the way to die. Getting caught in the gears of a combine, that's the way I want to go. Oh, Frank. Oh, this is terrible. Now, now we can never have children. Wilma, please. She's not even dead yet. We'll talk about our lives later. Don't you worry, Wilma. Your husband is going to be all right. Don't you worry about anything. Just think positive. Whatever scum did this, not one man on this force will rest for one minute until he's behind bars. Now let's grab a bite to eat. Yeah, come on, woman. Well, Don't worry, Wilma. It's cold blue in here. Just be thankful you're not the wife of that poor guy. Of course, we all have a stake in seeing that this portion of the Queen's American Goodwill Tour is completed in the uh, celebration. Especially exciting will be the Queen's public appearances. Um, we also would like to... Yeah. Lieutenant Drebin, police squad. Oh, I remember you, Drebin. Yeah, what do you want? I want to ask you some questions. Hey, look, I already told the cops everything. I swear to God, the girl was 18. What was the guy to do? No, no, I'm not here about that. Ah, you guys still harping about my condo across from the boys' academy? Look, I told you I was bird watching. No, no, it's about the body. Look, uh, I didn't know she was dead. It looked like she was sleeping. No, no, it's something else. Are you familiar with that face? I don't know. My memory ain't so great. Oh, yeah? Maybe this will refresh your memory. I don't know. It's still kind of hazy. How about this? Yeah, I remember him. I used to see him around. Why do you want to know? I can't tell you that. Well, maybe this will help. I really don't think I should. Yeah, you still don't think so? All right, his name is Nordberg. He's a cop. He was no cop. He was dealing H. What? I'm telling you, he was dirty. Oh, you sniveling scum. You're not better than your old man. My old man's dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Johnny. I forgot. Yeah, well, maybe this will help refresh your memory a little. Oh, yeah. He is dead. Now, where were we? I don't remember. Uh, maybe this will help. Oh, yeah, Nordberg, he was dealing a... Hey, you sniveling scum. I ought to run you in right now. All right, all right. He worked for Ludwig Shipping. He was trying to push something on one of my boys. I swear it. So what are you going to do about it, copper? Why should I tell you? Well, maybe this is a reason. I still don't think I should tell you. Can you spot me 20? How about now? All right. I'm going down to Ludwig's office. I'll find out if you're telling the truth. Hey, don't you want the address? Not on a cop's salary. Nice one. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. Where's the police officer who's on guard at that door? Oh, uh, Lieutenant Drebin called and sent him home. Lieutenant Drebin? Call the police squad. Tell them that 411 is in progress. 411? Oh, my God. Fire. No, no, no. Uh, uh, 1411. 1411? Oh, my God! A poison uh, gas leak! No, no. 1414. Uh, 1212? I must kill Nordberg. Nothing to see here, please! The attempt on Nordberg's life left me shaken and disturbed. I tried to relax the best way I knew how. The questions kept buzzing around my head like a bee in a hamburg full of honey. What had Nordberg been doing on the docks? And what was he trying to tell me? And would I ever be able to talk to my good friend again? The incident at the hospital had sent Nordberg into a coma. A 
doctors were doing everything they could, but his chances weren't good. And all the questions kept coming up over and over again, like bubbles in a case of club soda. Did Ludwig lie to me? I didn't have any proof, but somehow I didn't entirely trust him either. Why was the I Love You not listed in Ludwig's records? If it was, did he know about it? And if he didn't, who did? Or did anyone know? Somebody must have known besides myself because I know and I didn't do it. Of course, I can't prove that, which could make this tougher than I thought. Who was this character in the hospital? Why was he trying to kill Nordberg? And for whom? And where the hell was I? search warrant. Destroying property. Arson. What the hell were you doing there in the first place? Uh, yes, yes, I know, and I'm sorry about all that, Your Honor, but we have reason to believe that Vincent Ludwig is involved in a plot to assassinate the Queen. That's ridiculous. Where is this evidence? Well, it burned in the fire. Stabbing a guy in the middle of the park in full view of a hundred people, I shoot the weirdos. That's my policy. Did I ask you what you're trying to do? No, Mr. Lowe. I want you to get this pig where he breathes. I want you to find this Nancy boy, Frank Brevin. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want his house burned to the ground. Check for anyone suspicious looking. Al, go check on the back door. Right, Al. You're out of uniform again. Regulation headgear only, you know that. Sorry, Chief. Just trying something different. Hey, hey, Frank, what are you doing here? I just came from a stockyard where I traded charge with one of Ludwig's goons. They're planning on doing it tonight, and here. That's why they're trying to knock me off. Right. We'd better be on the lookout. Right. Uh, excuse me. It's disgusting the way they splash this stuff all over the newspapers. What is journalism coming to? You're laying on top of the queen with her legs wrapped around you. Just imagine treating an officer of the law like he was some presidential candidate. It's just not fair. 
You just got caught in city politics. The mayor pressured the chief. She's not good enough to hold your badge. Now, now, Al, don't worry. Now I can take that dog team into the Yukon like I always wanted to. They can't kick you off the force, Frank. It's just not fair. I know, Ed. Life isn't always fair. Just think the next time I shoot someone, I could be arrested. Hey, look at that, the missing evidence in the Kellner case. My God, he was innocent. He went to the chair two years ago, Frank. Well, what's the use? What good are these damn awards and citations? Yeah, Frank, uh, 20 years Frank, ago. Frank, that's not your desk. Frank! Wait a minute, Frank. What, Frank? Oh, uh, Frank. What is it, Al? That's my desk. You're over there. Well, I didn't think I recognized her. Frank, I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing here? Running another errand for your boyfriend? I tried to call you last night. I even went by your place. Where were you? I was out walking. Manager Rollins is going out to the mound to talk things over with Spiewak. Tim, he's just going out to try and settle down his young pitcher. He's going to find out if Spiewak's tired or not. I'm sure I'm right about this. Interest on a second home isn't deductible anymore. Well, it is if it's a business. But you have to show income. And you have to make a profit in three out of every five years. How about if you loan yourself money from your own pension fund? You're not paying tax on that anyway. Are you talking about an IRA or a keyhole plan? Have you found him yet? No, and I've searched almost everybody. Yeah, I saw that. Hold it, Ludwig. All right. Turn on your guns. Hold on, Ludwig. Frank! Stay where you are, Andre. He's got a gun. I know. You ruined my life, Drevin. Now I'm going to ruin yours. Leave the girl alone. I am. I'm going to kill you. I see. Two can play a dead game. Chest protector saved you this time, Draven, but now I'm going to aim for your face. Oh, how I have waited for this moment. You have made my life miserable, Draven, but now I am going to enjoy it, watching you squirm. You killed him. No, no. You just stunned. He'll be all right in a couple of minutes. 